Well, howdy there, boys and girls and ladies and gentlemen of the interwebs. <laughs> I just realized this sign here a while back when we had all this Rona stuff going on. Street sign a buddy gave me from when we lived in Arizona. But anyway, so we're snowed in here inside the garage today. So we have buttloads of snow outside on top of everything. We live one of those streets where they came and plow the street and stuff. So. But anyway, life goes on. But it's cold. Let's get this closed up. <clears throat> but yeah, so we're rocking on uh, the white truck's bed, getting everything shortened down on it um, before I cut the center section out. So um, did this one a bit different with cutting the bed. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Cutting the bed up here um, off of the front half. So notched it around <coughs> the pocket and then came back and cut it <coughs> so that when we weld it, then it was right here on this wedge for the bed. <clears throat> Man, excuse me. Uh, the edge of the bed so that when this gets ground down and bodywork needs to be done with it, um, it'll be a lot easier on that, that edge. So, um, And then as per I usually do, slid the head of the bed forward. So <clears throat> got it welded on the other side back over here um, on the head of the bed there. So there's no seam inside the middle. And then on the ends, um, notched it back and brought it in um, so that there is no seam coming down. Whoa, zoom on screen. So normally, you know, a lot of guys have where that weld is right there, it comes straight down through. So then um, you got to either come over and stuff, or then you got that seam uh, weld spot in the bed and stuff with it. But um, we're coming down through right there on that factory spot with it. This side you can see a little bit better because of where I got it back in place haven't gone through over on that side and welded it back in yet so but yeah it's good put the pocket where it's supposed to be and gives a lot easier to line up and stuff on that of course the dead giveaway from it not being a factory short bed is going to be the center post on there so yeah and then on the back side went um i think it's about an inch the width of the tape which ends up being an inch um off of that seam and then cut it down through so i can see there was a lot of bondo and this one when i cut it back and ground down to give me plenty of room to weld and stuff so the owner will have to do some body work on that we'll get that ground down as smooth as i can with it and then the owner will do the body work stuff onto it so and same with here too um no big seam because i came back to this seam here then it will just rip right across this um this had some rust sections in the tail and everything for it so i actually had to cut section out and tack that into it not the way i really like to do it but uh, it works. Old trucks. What are you gonna do? So looks a hell of a lot better than it did before. But yeah. So that side and that side. And of course we're rocking out in the garage. So same thing with the head of that side and then this side of the bed as well too. So everything measured through. Had a piece ran across there to keep everything all nice and sturdy and stuff on it. But yeah, that's the way she looks. But you, as you can see, back inside makes for nice seamage along there, and that'll get. The body caulking stuff or whatever you want to call it, seam sealer stuff, will get put down in there and that'll get ground down too across there. And This was kind of bouncing up <coughs> across here after we got it cut. Well before, this was kind of tweaked and bent along here. So built some holes to get it tacked down because it was actually uh, hang, or, uh, coming up out of the bed in like half the spot. So got it tacked down and rolled it down and stuff. The awesome OmniPro welder. Thing works out pretty well. Pretty nice. Pretty awesome. Yeah, so that's what we're working on. So pretty much, um, besides grinding down the edges, that's it for getting it shortened down. Next, we'll be chopping out the center section for the Crown Vic rear suspension to stick up in like all the ones do. Just have to try and get the white truck dug out of the snow or whatever so I can get in here to start raising up and down. I guess I have to do it like I've done the other ones where we'll raise it from the roof unless this snow clears enough that I can do it outside using the gantry and stuff on it, so yeah. That's where we're at, and that's what we're working on today. Thank you, everyone. Peace out. Remember, safety's first in America.